What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back! In today's video we are taking a quick look at one of the latest phones from Doogie. This right here is called the X97 Pro and unlike most phones that we get from Doogie, this is not a rock device. Doogie is known for a lot of rock devices but this is just a basic entry level phone. Just before I tell you about specs and so on, let's um, do a bit of an unboxing just so I can show you what comes in the box with it. Alright, so in the box we have a clear case for the device, we have the user manuals, we have the SIM card tray ejection tool, we also have a USB-A to a USB-C cable and the charger. So charging the device from 0 to 100 with the charger that comes in the box takes just over 2 hours. Inside this phone we have a 4200 mAh battery and depending how you're gonna use the phone you can get up to 2 days on one charge. Because inside this phone we also have the MediaTek Helio G25 which is not a power hungry CPU. Design wise well not much to write home about. Most of the phone is made out of plastic and yes it does not feel premium by any means. I kind of like how the back here reflects the light but overall design wise as well. Nothing that spectacular. So the frame around the phone is made out of plastic. On the back there we have a couple of cameras and the flash on the right hand side we have the power button and the volume buttons. On the left hand side we have the slot for the SIM card. So the device can take two SIM cards and an SD card at the same time. At the top we have a 3.5mm audio jack and at the bottom we have the USB-C charging port. We have the holes for the speaker and another hole for a microphone. This device only has one speaker and that speaker is positioned at the bottom here and the speaker sounds okay but definitely not the loudest or the best sounding speaker that I've ever heard. On the front here we have a 6 inch IPS panel that has a 720p resolution and we also have pretty massive bezels all around the screen. So a design that we were used to seeing about 3, 4, 5 years ago. So definitely not the most modern design out there. Now the viewing angles for this screen are pretty decent. I mean you can see it no matter how you look at it. The colors look nice and vibrant. But the brightness on this screen is not the greatest. So the peak brightness is 420 nits if I remember correctly. So if you are using the phone indoors no problem. But if you do take it outside in direct sunlight it is difficult seeing the screen. Performance wise well not much to write home about. So the phone runs Android 12 and the phone is powered by the MediaTek Helio G25 that's paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. The score that we get on the Antutu benchmark of course is not that high, you're looking at about 100,000 so definitely an entry level device. Now the UI is pretty light so the phone doesn't come pre-installed with a bunch of apps so nothing like that so pretty light UI so not much holding the phone back and for most tasks that I've tried on it it does perform better than uh, that score so better than I was um, expecting. Of course if you're using Facebook, Chrome and stuff like that there is a bit of lag um, whenever you're scrolling up or down and stuff like that but overall for an entry level phone I think it performs um, pretty decent. Now for gaming of course you can play certain games on it, don't expect that you're gonna be playing PUBG on it but for light games, um, a bunch of light games that um, are available in the Google Play Store the phone does perform pretty decent. But don't expect um, that you're gonna have a powerhouse with a phone like this. I was also surprised to see that the phone has an NFC chip inside it. So you could use this phone to make Google payments just to give you an example. I've tried the GPS unit inside it. If you're indoors it takes a while to find your location but if you're outside it takes maybe a second um, to find your location. As for sensors well we are missing the gyroscope um, from this device that, that's something to be expected for a budget um, phone like this one. As for cameras well on the back there we have a 12 megapixel sensor then we have another camera that's used for portrait mode pictures that's a 2 megapixel sensor and then on the front we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera. I also forgot to mention that on the front of the top there we have an LED notification light something that you don't typically see anymore um, these days. Now for picture quality I think the pictures are just as you'd expect from a budget phone like this one. So I guess better than not having any cameras but the pictures are far from being spectacular and of course these are some um, sample pictures that I took over the past couple of days with the front and the rear cameras on this device. So there you have it, this was a super quick look at the Doogie X97 Pro. Alright guys hopefully you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.